So the past couple of weeks have been um, particularly rough for Van. Um, been a lot of uh, bullshit going on that uh, has brought me down considerably. Um, one of which being a friend of mine, getting to, well, two friends of mine have been friends for a long time and got married and all that and had a kid. Great family. They're getting divorced um, to boot. Uh, she thinks that I slept with her husband. Okay. <laughs> so anyone that, you know, actually reads me on my blog knows this. You know, I've been having a lot of trouble since... God, I want to say a little after May. Um, just, just a bunch of crap going on in my life. One of those things being, you know, the girl I loved and wanted to spend the rest of my life with and raise our little family together. She, um, she left. And for no other reason than she was depressed. And then the worst part was, you know, there's nothing I could do to stop it. And, you know, losing one person's horrible, but then there went the kids too. And so I lost three people at once and it just, it just really started getting to me. And I've been sick, I've been on this really strict fucking diet, can't eat anything that I want to eat, which is a crime because I'm a uh, huge, huge food person. If you don't know me, I'm... I'm big in food, um, got my fingers in a little bit of everything, but the food, can't have it anymore. Also been having quite a bit of health problems, um, more along the, uh, like my kidneys are just like, and I've been like, y'all been witness to me, just the, incre the crazy insomnia, it's starting to get to the point where it's like affecting my daily life. So, you know, and money trouble I'm down to a bag of rice I like I'm not even joking when I I eat rice all the time and it's just just a bunch of bullshit that's just dumped on me at once and probably the biggest thing that's been going on is uh my boyfriend totally ditched me um got a huge blow up and we've been friends for a long 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 time and uh, this was the guy, you know, we were supposed to get married, supposed to get a house in Louisiana, um, had it picked out and everything, and going to be a family. And, you know, Sophia would have a father, and, you know, I would have a husband, finally, after all these years, you know, never thinking it would actually happen, just have this family all of a sudden. And it disappeared. So, obviously feeling um, pretty shitty about life in general, you know, FML, fuck my life, for those of you who don't know. I think what the, the biggest thing is that it's all just kind of finally coming together. You know, just, I'm alone. I don't have any money. I don't have any food. I fucking love food. Dude, you throw me in a vat of food. Don't ever check on me again. I can't eat right now sucks. I just, oh my god, I would fucking die to shove a Pop-Tart in my mouth. And, you know, I just, I want to hug someone at the end of the day. And, gone. Seriously, a giant big fuck my life, you know? So yeah, to uh, cheer myself up, I decided to go for a, um, a drive today in this beautiful fucking weather that we've been having. For those of you who are unaware, it has been absolutely gorgeous here. Weather has been perfect. Um, pure bliss. It's, I prefer hot weather, but this is nice. Um, sun's shining, wind's blowing. So how do I, how do I cope? I decide today, I'm getting out of the house, alright? The weather has been spectacular I mean the Sun has been out but it's not hot it's been like 60 and 70 degrees slight breeze you know I was going to the mountain I can I can just chill out and it just cheers me up and not only am I gonna go for a drive I think to myself I'm gonna go for a drive and I'm gonna get a uh, something scrumptious to eat something I haven't had in a long time that I'm not supposed to have and that something was a pretzel dog 
And for those of you who have never had a pretzel dog, you need to go get yourself a pretzel dog. They are fucking delicious. But not only was I going to go for a drive and get myself this scrumptious pretzel dog, but I was going to go for a drive, get the pretzel dog, and a Slurpee. Yes, indeedy do I was. And I did. And then I thought, why stop there? So I went, and you know, I, I'm not supposed to be eating this crap. But I went, and I shoveled down some Sonic. I am so hurting right now, but it was worth it. Because I felt alive. And it was just amazing. So I'm driving along, I got my Slurpee, and I've got my Pretzel Dog. Okay, and I'm driving home, you know, I'm, I'm completely relaxed. Um... I don't drive that much, so I get this text from my friend saying, you look funny when you drive. That's a new one. I guess she's never actually, it's kind of creeped. I get creeped out when people text me when they drive by me. Um, everything was going fine. When all of a sudden. Seriously, out of nowhere. Some asshole texting on their cell phone almost fucking hits me. Seriously, this crazy fucking bitch just whips out right in front of me. And she's got like, like a freaking corn dog just shoved it. Like a, maybe it was a pretzel dog. Who the fuck sucks on a pretzel dog while they're driving? The sad little Edward Cullen looking motherfucker. It was like I almost got hit by a chemo. I mean, what what was this? What, what was this? I mean, seriously. And a lime green piece of shit. Whipping in like she owns the place and her little sports car, a little red, red sports car. I mean, this thing looks like a UFO shat it into existence. Car manufacturers, Freudian slip, it looked like a giant donkey dick was coming to hit me. I honestly don't even know if this was a male or a female. And like, Heifer McCalmu got her fucking foot out the window, seriously. So sure, it can't even see over the wheel. It's, it's peering all like this while it's driving. I can't even, I can't even tell you what, she was just fucking foot out the window Oh no! while she's driving. Was probably talking to its equally gender confused ex whatever, pathetically begging for a second chance at their dry humping romance. You know what? She's probably like doing the whole comfort food thing. I mean, what, what happened? Did your boyfriend just leave you, honey? Did your swamp boy run out on you? Hmm? Or texting God, pathetically asking for a second chance at life. Round in her way through a Slurpee. Oh, my baby don't have a daddy. My baby don't have a daddy now. <laughs> Can't get it through its geeky, ugly fucking head that it's over. Probably going home to pop in Sarah McLaughlin and fucking cut herself and go, maybe if you see how much I hurt, you'll come back to me. What's wrong, shit-faced granny driving dickhole? You're golfing maybe because your penis was too small? I know it's really hard to go through life trying to find a daddy for your bastard children. Kick your heart the kids and your strap on a skip town. Oh, little buddy. My heart breaks for you, oh noble princess of single unwed mothers. Wanted a real man, eh? Go cry me a fucking river. Was your constant nagging and needing him to be there, your over cuntiness and, you know, overall round bitchiness just a little bit too much for him? Cry me a river, cry me a river, and I forgot to tell you I love you, and the night's so cold, and long here. Without you, cry me a river. Uh, <laughs> there is no more reason to live. <laughs> Probably, Probably like gay, gay fucking, fucking anime. anime. Or fucking Xena. Or fucking Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! If that motherfucker had stopped anywhere, if that bitch stopped her car for half a second, I would have dragged it out of its car by its greasy fucking hairdo. I would have got the novelty chakram out of my trunk 
and I would have gone all Xena up on her ass. And gone Super Saiyan Shira, motherfucking Ninja Scroll on its ass. Split her fucking skull. Oh, Jeff. Hey. Oh. Hey, man. Dude, you're not even gonna believe what happened to me today. Some crazy bitch almost ran me over. <laughs> really? See? Crazy fucking idiot drivers everywhere.